Do we all see that every time I do a month? Y'all. Bam. Okay, don't judge me. This is not going well. That's, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. What's up guys? Welcome back to Reckless Millennial Wednesdays. Today we will be talking about our May budget. If you're new here, my name is Destiny and welcome to the channel. So let's go right into the video. So I always, join. come on. Dinner's almost ready. We're making dinner, so. Oh, it looks good. I'm also ready to eat. So. Y'all think we good? <laughs> All right, so the first thing on the budget is obviously the rent and rent will be $915. I'm writing out the whole price for our rent because we did lose half of our income, so we're working with one. So $915 would be you know our rent as always and then i have water listed we do pay water and light separately so water i have budgeted 40 dollars because we usually don't pay over 35 dollars or something like that and like our bill is like 26 dollars then we have to pay like a five dollar service fee online for something so we pay that and i budgeted in 40 dollars for this month so we'll see we're always trying to get our bills like lower and stuff because like, I don't know, I guess if we like challenge ourselves to use less water and do all this stuff, the bill will keep going down. That bill has stayed pretty low since we moved in in October. Also, our lights are going to be budgeted at $90. Last month, our light bill was $77.26. And uh, that is the lowest our bill has ever been. Like, ever, ever. I don't know if we just weren't using lights. I don't know if we were unplugging things. I don't know what was different. We don't have the heat on and we don't have the air on at this moment. So I guess that could be a thing because it's like the weather's changing. So we're making it a point to not be turning off and on the heat like whenever we need to because that uses a lot of energy. And if we don't do it, our bill will be lowered as we just saw this month. So, moving on to the next item on the list is our Wi-Fi. Our Wi-Fi is $70. It's $70 every month. We have like the... I don't know what we have. Something we signed up for. Maybe I'll put it on the screen if I find it. <laughs> it's something gigabytes that we pay more for or something. I don't know. Whatever. Nick wanted that one. That's the one we got. So that's what we have. We pay $70 a month for it. <laughs> so moving on. Got my notebook so I know what's next. The next budget item is groceries. And we have it listed. Sorry. Notebook. We have it listed at $200. We usually have it at $300. But we cut our income so we decided that we should probably cut some expenses as well $300 was a lot of money and $200 is a lot as well but we are only eating at home at this moment meanwhile like all the stores and restaurants are kind of like closed and only doing takeout and drive through and there's really no way to tell when they're going to be back open so we've just been eating at home just to like stay in the house on the weekends and not expose ourselves to anything that is outdoors i have been going to work i do have to go to work i work at a hospital so i am an essential worker and yeah that's the only place i go work gas station home that's what I, that's what my schedule's been so yes all right moving on the next thing on the list is camille camille is my car if you didn't know she is a Toyota Corolla. She's the cutest thing ever. And she will cost me $50 this month because this month she needs an oil change. And last month I got her a tire rotation. And I drive an hour to and from work. So like an hour there, an hour back. So it takes me, you know, some mileage to get there. So usually I come up around my 5,000 mile mark to like get my car service quickly. So yes, that's why I just schedule it in every month. All right, the next budget line item you'll see is gas and it's priced at $300. As I just said, I do drive a long distance to work and home. So I budget in $300 of gas. And this month, oh my gosh, it has been amazing. The gas prices have been so low. I literally spent like half my budget, but I know that they're talking about open back up the state. So I didn't want to drop my gas budget back down to what I use this month. I want to keep it at a regular one because I don't know what's gonna happen next month. They might go back to like $2.50 a gallon when it's been at like $1.50. It's been amazing, but we might go back to how it usually is. So we'll see. So right now we're budgeting $300. The next thing on the list is Bank of America. We are going to pay $300 towards the Bank of America credit card. We have been saving everything that we have and we have like a good emergency fund saved up just in case something happens to my job and we are left with no income. So we've like beefed that up right now. So we're ready to go ahead and pay on my um, debt again. 
and we are going to be paying $300 to Bank of America. That is the credit card. The balance is, you know, it's high, but we're going to be working on it as we get there. We're going to go get there. And as you see, student loans is $0 this month because I've decided to take the minimum payment that I was giving to my student loans and put it on my credit card because the student loans are going to be zero inches, zero payment until September of this year. And if I go ahead and pay my Bank of America credit card with that minimum payment, it'll probably be out of the way in like, I don't know how long, shorter amount of time than it would take me to get my loans out of the way. It's not really messing with my debt snowball at all. It's just delaying how much money I'm putting towards the student loans. It's just going to take me a longer time frame, like the interest isn't going up, so that's a good thing. And it's going to take me just a longer time to pay them off because we did lose one income and I'm changing around the snowball and changing around our emergency fund and doing all that stuff just to make sure that we're good for this time that is going on. And the last thing on the list is $260 for my Capital One and Capital One is my car. Camille, lovely Camille. We have to pay $260 a month for her. Usually, if you keep up with my budget videos, you know I pay $300, but I have also been like, um, what do you call it? Cutting back on some of my payments just because, uh, as I said, one income in, we're trying to make sure that we have enough money saved if something does happen to my income. So, that is the plan for May. So the budget items that you don't see in the on the list are Tiana. She is not in school. They're not going to school, so I'm not paying anything for her lunch. Also, I have not been going to get her on Fridays just because I want to reduce exposure. So I didn't budget her in at all this month. I haven't been going to pick her up or anything. We've been FaceTiming, and she's been texting me from her iPad whenever she has it. But yes, so that is what Tiana is doing in my life. Also, this month, I would have had to pay for... Why can't I speak? Also this month I would have had to pay for my certification which is 80 freaking dollars, which is ridiculous. It's a ridiculous amount of money to keep up a certification and it's annual, but whatever, we paid it. We paid it already this month with like the money we had in our joint account, so I'm not like too worried about that and I'm not tripping about it. We're just going pay $80. I paid it just before this video actually, so that's paid. It would be in this budget, but we just went ahead and paid it with the leftover money from my gas, you know what I'm saying? Saved like half my gas, so we paying extra things with it. Also, Poshmark be popping. I'll leave my Poshmark down below. We have some like polo items still on there, so if you want to go check them out, please do buy something from a shop. And yeah. I think that's all. It'll probably just be a picture of that. I just did all that thumbnail finding and then you're gonna have a picture of the notebook on the screen. That's really what's gonna happen, but it's fine. Let me end the video now. All right, so I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna subscribe and join my family, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.